Good morning, everyone. Uh, quick, quick recap, review, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I want to thank the fans. I want to thank everybody for supporting this channel always and sending me those personal message. If it wasn't for you guys, uh, those 20, 20, 30 messages I got, I would have missed out on a good game. Actually going back to it and listening to the people. I paid 20 bucks for it, but now I know exactly how to play it. Some games you just push aside because you don't understand and uh, you put crap over it and you say it's no good but if you actually take your time and really hardly understand how it plays because it's an original fighting game and I'm uh, really happily surprised for the fans for writing me back to telling me go back to this title you have to retry it no way it's no good when a game is bad People don't email me and say, oh man, you got to go back to it. When the game's actually bad, people don't email me and they don't message me on YouTube saying it's bad. Just like, what was that game of bicycle, road rage, road, whatever. That was really bad. This one, I actually thought it was really bad because I didn't understand the combat mechanics, the buttons, what to press. I would lose every single fight. I was kind of surprised it looked exactly like one of my favorite from back in the days. Of course, the levels are not the same. These are just flat levels. Some of them you have some barriers. They're just flat levels. But honestly, the way he plays has to be kind of flat. It would be cool to have some bigger like fighting grounds. That's my only downer point. And uh, this America, if you're selling this game and people aren't buying into it, and I noticed the price drop because I think a lot of people didn't take the time like I did, and I went back to it, and I, I, I fell in love with it. I can't put it down now. You actually have a 10-character 10, 10 rouster, and it differs from other story mode from fighting games. This game... There's an original way to finish the story. I kind of like it. You have 10 different characters. You play through the story mode. You're like, it takes, I would say, 20 minutes, 22 minutes. You know, just like a good old arcade. You have a little story, which is nice. But you play through it once and you understand that you have to redo the story 10 times. Because they force you to play with throughout the whole story with one character each and every time which is really exquisite and an original way to do it and I really really like it I gotta hurry it up camera battery is dying but uh, yes uh, next time just put the instructions instructions manual this game needs instruction manuals but crazy enough I just want to show it in the video if you buy this game and you have no clue how to play it just go down into menu over here. You guys can't see it. Menu over here. You just left stick. Use it. You see the manual. Press on that. Press A. And you have a whole game manual on how to play this. Alright. It tells you every move and everything. Just keep in mind this game is really, really exquisite and really fun once you understand the battle mode. And remember, X and A, once all your burst battle moves are charged, is the super move, which you can obliterate uh, your opponent in one shot. Like this one big power move. It's a fighting game about casting spells. You can get up close with the character and actually hit him with real moves. It's really epic. Camera's gonna blow down. I wish I could keep on. Let's just let's just try to fix this, so I don't have to stop. Oh, there we go. We're safe. Yes. So as I was saying, there's an up close battle. You can up close when the opponent gets close to you. There's some cancel whenever he's spelling a cast or she. It's always girls, anyways. If she is. Casting a spell, there's always a way to cast a spell yourself to cancel it. It's a distance fight. It's always in 3D and never switches like Pokemon Tournament. Once you get close, you get in the 2D fighting way. This one always stays in 3D and you're casting spells. But when you get up close, you can actually hit the opponent. I would suggest jumping and dashing with the R button. And 
I don't want to forget this part. Don't play this game. Don't play with this game. The best way to play this game is Joy-Cons in each hand. Uh, you can block with L. I'm trying to explain the buttons because I figured it out on my own. And once you understand this, it's really cool. Uh, when you hold the R button, it gives you, uh, I mean, Y, X, and A, it gives you another uh, casting moves when you're holding the R button, which is really epic. And once you're using all your spell and your spell meter is charged up, just press X, A together and you will just blow your opponent away. It's almost a win every time. It's just like bloody roar when you're super overcharged. Press that. It actually kills the opponent. And crazy enough, when you do the story mode, there's actually a boss battle at the end, which is also epic in each and every story mode. Couch co-op, I mean couch multiplayer fight is actually really fun also. There's split screen, play on TV, don't play directly on the Switch. Really, really cool. So I'm glad again, everybody that emailed me and messaged me on this game. Thank you so much for believing in me and just telling me to go back and retry. I'm really happy I got it back and I'm actually gonna finish every single story mode in this game for every character. There's a creepy, they all cute and everything, but when you get deep inside the story, it's, uh, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty devilish, might I say, really dark. So, uh, go give it a try. I gotta redo this rented buy, but this is definitely a buy. Now it's on a price drop on Amazon, and if you could get it at a local store, but Amazon has a price drop on it at 20, I, I got it for 20 bucks. Now I think it's back at 30. It was way higher than that, but at that price. Of course, the PlayStation VR version, uh, I actually enjoy it more playing on the Switch. Controls are tighter for me, and the VR version on, the PlayStation version, well, it didn't allow you to play everything. That's a downer point of the VR. They, they sell it for VR, but you, you can not play the story mode, just one match. That's about it. But definitely a buy. Just take your time and learn the combat mechanics right in the menu. There's a manual, bottom left. There's 25 pages. Actually read, take the time to it. Read through the 25 pages. And once you understand the combat mechanics, this game is actually really, really fun, really good. An original fighter. I really love it. Must almost buy for any Switch collection. See you soon.